नमस्कार टायर्डनेस एंड लिथार्जी स्पेशली इन दीज टाइम्स ऑफ कोविड हैज बिकम अ ग्रोइंग फैट एंड पीपल आर बिकमिंग डल नॉट जस्ट फिजिकली बट मेंटली एज वेल द पैंडमिक इज अफेक्टिंग आर माइंड टू अ मच ग्रेटर इफेक्ट we might get thoughts like what if i don't get up today nothing will change at all we don't feel like doing anything as the surroundings are the same for a year and a half now practically two years to get rid of this dullness of mind recreation and yoga practices are very important so let's discuss some ways in which we can increase our brain activities and get rid of this dullness number 1 a technique called as reflection we should do reflection every night we should start reflecting how we spent our day this just takes 10 minutes but this will definitely help you to learn to stay in present stay calm and collective and that would be wonderful it increases your brain activity and boosts your memory as well with times it gives us a great insight about our behavior and that would help us rectify it second focusing on our breath how many times we are aware of our breath throughout the day just one second we get breathless and we notice it when we are angry our breathing goes very fast and our breath gets erratic when we are sad and it goes down our emotions influence our breath and similarly our breath influences our emotions just focusing on our breath will help us boost brain activity and be more mindful of our surrounding third playing indoor games games can enhance our mind's capacity to think and be aware play indoor games with your family every day following games are not just fun but it really helps our mind to focus and the ability to think is much better first simple game is lemon and spoon we must have played this in our school take a spoon in your mouth hold it tightly put a lemon and then start walking see that lemon doesn't fall and see how fast you can walk to and fro second could be keep a book on your head and start walking your attention has to be there on your book as well as on the steps wonderful game it should not fall again third game take a glass totally filled with water up to brim start walking see that not a single drop falls down full concentration and it works wonders you have to walk also in between some people may come you have to hold it and walk nicely this is a very interesting game we should play in our own house fourth keep a bucket at the center all standing around take a ball and the ball has to go straight into bucket now this practice or take a ball throw the ball from front behind and person who is standing behind has to hold it so all little little balls game take a ball and start throwing here and there one person has to stand straight and just look at the ball going up and down so his eye exercises plus fun it would be beautiful not to use your neck just use your eyes to move here and there such simple game should be practiced whole family should play together and enjoy together these games challenge our balance and focus building and strengthening our neuron functioning in the brain taking some time off and playing such games in the house really would be wonderful fourth ratak ratak is an age old practice done for improving the concentration and boosting the activities of the brain simple eye exercises is this ratak and it can really help simple eye exercise like looking at the tip of the shoulders on both the side looking at the tip of the nasal looking over there at the center of the eyebrows and looking at the palm and seeing something which is very far from you this exercise close distance and further distance such exercises and palming the eyes for some time 
all such things would really help improving concentration. There is one more very interesting activity for eyes. Light a candle, keep it at your nasal level or at your shoulder level and look at that flame of the candle. Eyes should not be up, they should be looking down, but the flame of the candle. Till you feel that your eyes are, have started watering, then close your eyes. A very good technique to learn focusing and improve concentration. These techniques not just remove your dullness and increase concentration, but it really helps in improving your memory. It helps in strengthening your nervous system. Fifth, asanas. Asanas like Padmasan, Lotus Pose, Vajrasan, Diamond Pose, Ardhamatsendrasan, Half Spinal Twist Pose, Paschimottanasan, Sitting Forward Bend, Halasan, Plow Pose, Surya Namaskar, and Neck Stretches. Balancing Asanas like Ek Padasan, Vrukshasan, Natarajasan, Talasan, all these help a lot as well. Meditating in meditative asanas like Padmasan help us gather our thoughts and focus on being in the moment. It helps us focus in the now and removing our dullness. Usually, we are so much surrounded by varieties of distraction and lots of thoughts in the mind. So such meditative asanas really helps us to focus in the present. Performing dynamic asanas also help us, but should be done consciously. Six, pranayam. Pranayam help maintain equanimity of body, mind and soul. It helps our brain function and focus better. They also help with memory and cognitive decline related issues. Some of the pranayams which person should do regularly are Brahmari, Bhastrika, Sitali, Sitkari, Ujjayi. Apart from these asanas and pranayam, certain cleansing processes are also equally important, which come under hygiene in yoga. These include Kapal Bhati, Kapal Randradhoti, Karna Randradhoti, and even Simha Mudra. All the exercises connected to ear, nose, throat, and even eyes, they really help functioning the brain well and the brain activities well. And so they should be done regularly. Seventh point, importance of diet. Among diets, having colorful fruits and vegetables, these vegetables can stimulate brain activity instantaneously. Whole grain, nuts, dairy products, oil seeds, lentils, they all should be part of your daily routines. Taking fresh fruits which are locally available, available because of that type of season, are highly recommended. And these fruits should be taken between two meals. It is vital to have food which is nutritious and pleasing to the senses. As they say, good food is equal to good mood. There are certain beverages like tea, coffee. Now these things people take regularly. They should be avoided in their routines. But they have some place like when you have cold, a ginger tea can really help you. Or loose motion, coffee can instantly help you. But not in your routines. Having ginger tea or containing any hot beverage with ginger inside will help in stimulating your brain. Making your own recipes like adding ginger to your meals or make into some beverage but ginger must go into your system. Finding some recreational activities as a hobby or doing the things you love can stimulate your brain activities and all this would help increase your concentration and getting rid of dullness of your mind. So take care of yourself and follow all these techniques. Namaskar.